an awesome 31 RE cruiser travel trailer just came in here at Halet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And every one of these I see impresses me more. Um, the uh, quality of the construction, the fit and finish, just the, the look of it. It's all so rich and warm and welcoming. They're doing things I just generally don't see, especially in travel trailers. Um, you know, a nice Skylar right here in the kitchen in the living room area. It lets in a lot of light, but you notice um, they, uh, they kind of model it a little bit so you won't get a direct sunlight beam. You won't feel like an ant under a magnifying glass. Um, if you stand back here, you see how wide this is right here, and then follow it down. You see how thin it gets over there. The entire roof structure of this is arched. It's called a north-south sweep. So it's not only domed side to side for runoff, but also forward to back for both runoff, structure, as well as aerodynamics. Um, if you've ever, you know, watched one of those uh, air tunnel tests on a car, you notice how that white paint or smoke or whatever they fire into the air, it sweeps up over the car and then back down over it. It's because uh, a car is built to have a smooth, rounded wind signature. Most trailers are not. However, this one is. It will uh, track better behind the vehicle because it doesn't have so much chaotic wind friction. And uh, it, it also just looks really cool. Um, these are uh, black label brand rocker padded recliners. They swivel. They're very nice. They're very comfortable. Um, I would rate them right alongside anything I've ever seen from like lane furniture. Uh, something I like to show people, if you pick this up, you see this little silver stuff right here under the slide out. That is double sided uh, thermal foil. That's literally stuff NASA used to use to insulate space capsules on re-entry. Uh, it insulates the slides right under where you're sitting because if it didn't have that, it'd only have like an R1 or 2 factor, which would pretty much suck all the heat right out of you. Now, uh, the TV is going to be included with this. We simply pull them out before uh, filming so that uh, you're the first person to touch them when you take them home. Your DVD stereo is also Bluetooth enabled. So, you take your uh, handy smartphone, link it wirelessly to this thing, and you can play music on your phone. Keep your phone in your pocket through your camper stereo. Very cool stuff. Your high to bed is a trifold memory foam sofa. No inner springs, no air mattresses. It's our queen bed. Two adults can sleep on this comfortably. And the uh, the storage, you know, you see a lot of campers have storage above the sofa or the, the rear entertainment center. I see a lot of them aren't putting struts on the doors to keep them open. Also, most of them do not have this depth of storage. This is far deeper than normal. Here, let me give you an example. Pardon me, I'm going to walk you around real quick here. You'd probably all agree that's about the size of a dinner plate, right? Well, to give you a perspective here, you see how far back that goes. How much space there is in here. Tons of space within the storage area. And that's just one of these many pockets. Um, we also have, uh, you know, plenty of full extension ball bearing glide drawers on 70 pound rated glides. Um, the, uh, again, more amazing fit and finish. You don't see crown molding like this in a travel trailer all over the place. It's gorgeous. Your, uh, you know, cabinet construction. I'm not worried about that falling apart personally. Um, and you see that everywhere. You see it on the lower doors. You see it in the bedroom. You see it everywhere. You see it in this big pantry next to the refrigerator. And we upgrade the fridges on almost all of our cruiser travel trailers from a standard six cubic foot to a 30% larger eight cubic foot. Now, they don't just give you cabinets, they also give you handy shelves back here so you can double the amount of use you get out of this. Another upgrade you really can't see, but we almost always put them in everything, is a, uh, a 15,000 BTU air conditioner instead of a standard 13.5. Um, if you're not an HVAC expert, then in English what that means is 50% more cold air power in this RV as compared to a standard build. It's a big deal. If you're going to go camping where it's hot, it's almost a have to have, not a want to have. And again, this, this is your third slide. It starts in the bathroom and goes all the way through the bedroom. A lot of travel trailers skimp and don't give you the storage here in the bathroom. So you have nowhere to keep your towels. You have nowhere to keep your linens. Now this not only gives you more hanging storage, but also gives you more pullout space. And look at the construction on these drawers. Half inch plywood in these. I mean, it's incredible. You just generally don't see things like that in a travel trailer. 
Again, speaking of storage, you not only have storage above the bed, but it is incredibly, incredibly deep. Plus, you have this really sweet little uh, alarm clock rack right here. And, uh, I mean, I can think of a million uses for that. So, uh, geez, there's so many things I haven't even talked about. I haven't talked about insulation qualities or the lamination that they use or the full aluminum structure inside this thing. And I've already gone five and a half minutes, which is more than I prefer. So give us a call to learn even more about these Cruiser RVs. 800-256-5196. Hale Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan.